Hi guys, my name is Nicola Stewart and I am from Equestrian Fitness. I am a strength and conditioning coach, equi pilates and sports yoga instructor, specialising in equestrians. So across uh, the next five episodes of this, uh, we're going to take you through five different workouts, all slightly different areas of the body, um, all designed to help improve your performance in the saddle. Okay, so today we're going to start on the lower body. So we're going to be predominantly focusing on the glutes and the hips as they are very much fundamental to the stability of your pelvis and therefore the stability of your seat. And then we're also going to be working the quads, the hamstrings, etc., the rest of the legs. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through five exercises. I'm going to do 10 reps with you for each exercise as we go so I can talk you through technique, what to look out for, etc. What I would suggest is for each of these five exercises um, to do between three and five rounds of 10 reps. So you can either do them as a circuit and do the circuit three or five times or do three to five sets of 10 for each exercise, whichever works best for you. Okay, so we're going to get started. We're going to start with just a basic squat. Okay, so you're going to take your feet just wider than hip width apart. Your feet can be either facing completely forward or they can be about 10 and 2. Um, whichever is most comfortable for you is fine with me. Okay, you want your feet to be level, equal weighted. So check that first. And you want to keep yourself fairly upright as you go, so strong core. Okay, and you're going to squat down. So we're going to go for 10. We want to aim to get to thighs parallel, keeping the knees pushed out over the feet. So that's two, three, keep core strong. Okay, so we're not leaning forward, we're keeping the chest open. Knees are out and we're getting parallel so you can really feel the bum and the hamstrings push you back up. Okay, so that's 10. Right, the next thing we're going to do is a single leg deadlift. So you're going to come to feet are just hip width apart. Check that your hips are level first. You're going to go onto one leg, okay, and you're going to keep in the hips facing forward. You're going to hinge over, keep the hips level forward and then come back to standing, okay? So hips level, core is strong, think about lifting up through the belly button, watching this knee, the standing knee, you don't want it to collapse in, okay? Now, your aim is obviously to go completely horizontal, but that's okay if you can't do that, it's more important that you stay level and balanced, okay? So we'll do couple more. You're also going to watch it for your back foot. Mine is trying very hard to turn out. You want the foot to be facing forward as well. So if you find that your toes turn out, that's a clue as to what it might do when you're riding. And if you can think about turning the heel out as well, that'll help to really make sure you're using that outer hip to control the back leg. Okay, so that's single leg deadlifts. Second exercise is side lunge onto a balance. Okay, so you're going to go side lunge, so both feet are facing forward, okay, you've got one leg bent, this one is straight, okay, you're going to push back off that front leg, back up to a standing position on one leg, okay, so we'll keep going, you want the hips to stay forward, you want your torso to stay upright, the chest is still open, and each time you're checking in, so those feet are both still landing facing forward and if you check into where they land if they land level that's also quite important okay so you don't want to have a leg going off forward or back it's about body awareness and knowing that your heels are landing on roughly a straight line okay so, there and bring yourself up okay so that's exercise number three number four we're going to go into a split squat or static lunge as some people may call it. You're going to go one leg back. What you're going to do is I want you to tuck your bum under so you've got ribcage stacked over pelvis so that you're in a neutral position. Okay, your front knee is going over the foot. Keeping this neutral, so bum is tucked under, ribcage stacked over, you're going to drop down to create two right angles with your legs. Okay, and then you're coming back up. So you'll notice that you're using your bum muscles quite a lot, your hip stabilizers and it burns the legs, but you're also having to use your core to keep that neutral 
Okay, and what we're also doing is we're working the front hip flexors in a lengthened position, which is predominantly what they're trying to do when we're riding, particularly in a dressage saddle. Okay, less so when we're jumping, but they still have to be pretty strong to be able to help control your pelvis and your seat when you're doing that, okay? So we're neutral, strong glutes, leg control, both facing forward, back heel again, check that it isn't turning your toes out, you want that face in it completely forward, okay, and there we go. Right, last exercise is essentially a take on what we've just done with the split squat, but we're gonna add in a little bit of balance, okay? And I'm also gonna give you an option to make it a smidge harder as well, and I will try really hard not to fall over when I do, okay? So this time we're gonna reverse lunge and we're gonna come back to a, a one leg standing, right? So it's the same thing, take it back, Rib cage directly over the pelvis, drop to your two right angles, and then really push. So we're getting power in this front leg, push back up to one leg. Okay, down. So we've still got rib cage that's over the pelvis, bum is tucked under, up. Torso strong, and again, look for yourself tipping left to right. Now, if you want to make this a little bit harder, you can now hop at the top. I can do this. So up hop and again you're trying to keep yourself you can see i'm tipping left you might not be able to see i know i'm tipping left okay which is exactly what i do on a horse okay so there are your options you can keep it standard or you can add a hop okay so um hopefully you can give that a go guys i'll just quickly run through them with you again so that's squat single leg deadlift side lunge, oop, split squat, and then split squat lift, okay? I'd love to know how you get on in the comments, and I will see you soon for another body workout. Bye.